The Psyche of Success is about defining who you are and who you want to be. Chapter 8, Anger. Now what's interesting, the Latin term for anger is irritus, where irritated came from. I want you to think about the times that your emotions have gotten the better of you. When have you gotten angry and allowed someone else to take control of your mind and your life? I grew up doing martial arts and I remember one of the most important lessons that I learned. The moment they get in your head and make you angry is the moment that they are in control of you because you allowed them to make you angry. Nobody makes you angry, nobody makes you happy, nobody makes you sad. You make those choices yourself. So as you go through this chapter on anger, I want you to consider what you would have to do in order to make things better. Now, Jason faces the challenge of, oh my gosh, I'm so angry at these people. Oh, they deserve such bad things. I don't believe that you can want bad for another person unless you want bad for you. So step back and determine, what do you want for you? You have to want good for others if you want good for you. You have to be calm with others if you want them to be calm with you. When we lose control of our emotions, or more accurately, give up control of our emotions, then we allow those emotions to dictate what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and how our results are going to be achieved. There's four specific steps that are outlined in this chapter that you need to use in order to overcome the demon of anger. Number one, surround yourself with the right people. If you hang out with angry people, it makes sense to be angry. One of the reasons that I don't watch the local news is because I really haven't seen a lot of good stuff on the news in say the last 20 or so years. I also don't read the newspaper for the same reason and during certain seasons, say political seasons, I don't get on social media because it's all angry people it seems like. Number two, don't blame other people, including yourself. Don't go around being angry at you and don't go around being angry at them. Stay calm and accept that things are the way that they are and you have a choice now about to make them better or make them worse. All you're controlling is your next choice. So don't go around being angry at them or at yourself. Number three, make a plan of action to make things better and then actually work the plan. I know that when I've gotten into bad situations in my life, I wanted to be angry at the economy or angry at other people that worked for me or angry at whomever, take your pick. The moment I stepped back from that and said, look, if I'm gonna get better, I'm gonna to have to have a plan. Let's create a plan and I would map out the plan. I go, what's my next step? I can control the next step and I would take some action. The fourth thing that you do is, and I know this one's a little bit crazy sounding, you gotta look happy. American Psychological Association has been able to demonstrate that your physiology or your body language controls your emotional state. What state do you want to be in? If you want to be in a state of happiness, you have to look happy and your emotions will follow. If you want to be angry, you need to look angry and your emotions will follow. You're in control of the way that you hold yourself. Take control of it and you will find that you control your emotional states. Go out there and choose happiness. I'm Jody Holland with the Psyche of Success video blog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share it with your friends. Find me on Facebook, look for Jody Holland Training and Speaking. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, Jody N. Holland. Can't wait to see you on next week's episode.